Well, we're at the Riverside Arena in Ayr, and this we're with Will from Ayr Seaforth Club Development Officer. Will, what a fantastic facility it is! Tell me how the club is uh, how the club is growing at the moment. Um, so yeah, this is a year coming up almost now that we've been in the, the new facility. Um, but yeah, since we've been here, um, we're really seeing our numbers starting to pick up again since the pandemic. Um, there was the obvious dip, which I think a lot of clubs experienced. Um, but not just on our, our kind of general um, development side, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of expanded since we've moved here, opening up run, jump, throw um, and doing holiday camps and things like that, things that we hadn't really done before. So we're starting to, we really got into that through our partnership, working with uh, the local authority, particularly active schools. Um, the role that I do, um, we have a, I have a particular focus on the uh, Air North community, which is where the facility is based. So what we're looking at doing there is really engaging um, the very local community that sits alongside the facility um, and, it, you know, trying to support it's a kind of area with um, high deprivation, low income families, where we're looking to kind of really offer free programmes and do initiatives to try and engage that community. So bringing the children in, but also looking for new volunteers by, you know, engaging the adult community, doing for, things, sorry. For, you know, for, for those who don't know the area, you know, I'd imagine you've got Comarnock Harriers up the road, you've got North Ayrshire a good bit up the road, but this area itself in here is quite a significant uh, sort of slice of population that you can that you can maybe tap into. That's what you're saying, get some, you know, adults as volunteers and youngsters into the sport. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, Quite a big catchment area is what I mean. Yeah, I, I, that's right. Um, and you know, there's, we, we do have um, a lot of our, our members travel quite far to come and train at the club, um, who are a bit more remote uh, in South Ayrshire. But yeah, um, we, we, yeah, absolutely. The facility itself, you mean you've got a 400 track there, you've got an indoor straight, you've got jump facilities, throw facilities. What has this weekend, you know, with qualifying uh, heats event, a, a national effectively a national championship event here. Is that just got to stir maybe a couple of ideas for you on what you might be able to put on here? Absolutely, yeah. Um, our club, we are part of um, the Ayrshire Harriers Clubs Association. So we work in partnership with Kilmarnock and North Ayrshire primarily. Um, and we already have established a good outdoor summer athletics programme here, a uh, local open graded, for example. Um, but yeah, we're starting to talk about what can we do through the winter um, and kind of copy what we're doing here right now, start putting some indoor competitions on. Um, because, you know, the, the, the outdoor programme is very busy, so it's a, it'd be an ideal opportunity to kind of do more, but not packed into that busy summer period. We we'll look forward to seeing it develop. Thanks, Will. <laughs>